Hey guys, sorry it's been so long. Welcome back. So I'm going to go ahead and do Darren's three week update. I didn't do two week because two week was crazy hard for us. Um, so baby Darren is three weeks old. I don't know if you can see him from there. He's changed a lot already and we did have his urologist appointment yesterday and he already weighs eight pounds and I just kind of woke him up so he's like already a little fussy. Um, oh big yawn. Oh, did I wake you up honey? Yeah, so usually if he's not sleeping or eating, he's usually unhappy. So I usually just try to keep him sleeping or eating. And he's almost close time to eat too, so he's probably a little hungry. Um, he has been sleeping at night two and a half to three hours at night. He usually doesn't go much longer than that. Let me see. You, you want something to suck on? Here. No. He does sometimes Hi. take a pacifier. Not very often, though. He's waking up, though. I'm sorry to wake you up, honey. He says he's not down to do a video today. Um, we did have his first bath um, a few days ago. His umbilical cord did come off. Finally, like it came off like maybe a week and a half, like most of it, but then he still had some of it in there. And I was reading online that you just want to wait till it's all the way off before you actually give him a bath bath. And he didn't hate it, but he didn't love it. And of course, he is being cold. So like once the bath is over, it's like getting him dressed. He's not happy. Um, I did want to mention his, um, his vitamin D drops. So the doctor recommended vitamin D drops. It was the Infamil ones. And, um, every time I gave it to him, he, like, projectile vomited, like, immediately. So I was like, yeah, I'm not giving this to him anymore. I looked online and I found a lot of people liked the Carlson D um, vitamin D drops and basically it's just one drop and like I usually just put it on the pacifier and I give it to him like that before I nurse him and he's had no problems with that so if you guys are having problems with the Infamil ones because um, there's just too many ingredients for their little tummies and there's sh like a lot of sugar in it and dyes and stuff whereas uh, the Carlson D ones um, I think it just has oil like palm oil or coconut oil or something and then um I think it's palm oil and then vitamin D and that's it and you just need one drop so the whole thing lasts a year way better and he hasn't had any tummy issues with that um he was fussy for like maybe three days when he was like um t basically two weeks and that's part of the reason why I didn't update is because he was just so fussy I was getting no sleep and I was like a mess um but for like three to four hours, he just cried nonstop. And we think it was due to gas because his tummy is really bubbly and stuff. And um, I did read like a lot of people were recommending the gripe water and stuff. So I did go on there and check out, um, or I had my, um, I had a friend go and buy the gripe water for us. And then my husband read some negative stuff on it. So he wanted to be safe and he, we're trying to hold out to use it. So we actually haven't used it yet. We just like kind of powered through those few days where he was really fussy for three to four hours and just like held him while he cried and just tried our best to soothe him the best we could without giving it to him but um we do have it if we need it and we're gonna try to wait till he's at least one month old to use it but you know we have it if we do need it and we can't hold out so we do have that um let's see the other thing that he has right now is he does have a clogged tear duct um, on one of his eyes, and you can't really see it right now, but one of his eyes gets like really, really crusty. It's this one right here. Um, and um, I was reading online that you just, keep, it's not really anything severe. You just have to keep it clean um, with like a warm, clean cloth and then like massage the tear duct area and stuff like that. And I have been doing that. It hasn't really seemed to get better, but it's not getting worse. So I'm not too worried about that. Um, we did finally get to go see the urologist yesterday, and that's when we found out he weighed 8 pounds already, so he was born at 6 pounds 2 ounces, so that's like amazing. And um, anyway, so she was really great, she answered all of our questions, 
Um, apparently she's really well known here in town and people come to see her from all over. And she looked and she basically said that it's really not that, I mean, it's not that bad or anything like that and it's not gonna cause him any discomfort or pain. So we can either just leave things as it is or if we do decide to circumcise him, we do have to put him under general anesthetic. And we have to do that, um, don't pull your ear. We have to do that at um, four months and beyond. Um, basically any any time after four months, she said it's fine, even if we wait a year. So we're still discussing what we want to do at this point. Um, we kind of still do lean toward the circumcision just because everybody in the family has it and we want him to feel normal, but um, the, the doctor didn't push either way, so that was great. I was worried that she would push like the circumcision or something, and she didn't. She said that um, with his case, it's not really severe or anything, and um, it's not really going to affect him negatively either way. So it's just kind of up to us and what we decide, but the nice thing is we don't have to make a decision for a while. And of course we're worried about putting him under general anesthetic and we asked her about that and she said that there's normally no problems, it's a fast procedure, it's in and out. And um, they, she said that usually the only time you have to worry is if they're going under for an extended amount of time or if they're doing it multiple, like if he has a, other medical problems and he's had to be put under for heart surgery or something. So she said she's not concerned about it, but of course being a first time parent, I am a little bit concerned about that. Um, I think that's about it. It's been kind of crazy hard at night time. Last night I actually felt like I got some sleep and my parents came over today to visit him for the first time since we've been out of the hospital and that went really good. And they were all excited to see him. And it was nice that I actually got rest last night. He woke up at, we went to sleep at like nine was his last feeding. <clears throat> well, I fed him at nine, so we are like done at like 9.40 or something. Um, and then he woke up at 12, so like midnight, and then he woke up at 2.30. And then he had another long stretch and didn't wake up till 5.30. And then from 5.30 he didn't wake up until 8. So he does have a couple long stretches, so it's not that bad. Last night was a good night, I felt rested. But some nights he wake up, he'll wake up every two hours, which really gives me an hour of sleep because it takes him like, after I change him and nurse him and put him back to sleep, that takes an hour usually, or more sometimes, if he doesn't go to sleep right away. He will wake up when I put him in the bassinet. Like, if I just nurse him and put him back in the bassinet, he'll wake up instantly. So I have to sit there and rock him and pat his back and soothe him. And then wait till he's like, I usually wait like maybe 10, 15 minutes and then put him in the bassinet and then he'll sleep. If I do it too soon, he'll just wake up and it'll just be a longer mess and I won't get to sleep and he won't get to sleep. So we've learned to do that. But recently he started doing something last night different. He usually, hang on honey. Um, he does this sometimes too where he's content and then he kind of freaks out and then he kind of doesn't freak out and he's fine. He does that a lot. So his new thing with nursing, he usually stays on one boob for 20 minutes and then he's done. But last night, hey honey, what's wrong? Last night, he was on one boob for like 10 minutes, but he would get really fussy and he would do what he's doing now and kind of like try to tear off my nipple or something like that and like freak out and get fussy and move around and squirm. So I will de-latch him or he'll de-latch himself and then still cry and then we'll go to the other boob and he'll be okay for a while and then toward the end he gets fussy again. So he just started that today and I don't know how long that's going to last or if he just wants a different boob because they are, they do flow differently, I don't know. But that's something new he just started doing. Is this how you're saying hi to everybody? Yeah? Oh, I'm sorry. Hey. I'm sorry, honey. <laughs> He's definitely a lot more awake than he was before and more fussy, but that's okay. I've only had a few, have been a few nights where I've just like, was like almost regretful, like why did we have a baby? It's so hard and like I want my sleep and stuff like that. But then of course in the morning, it's like a new day and you're like, oh, I love this little baby so much. 
But some nights are really, really rough. And it's a lot harder than I thought it would be, actually. Mainly the nights. In the daytime, since I'm not working, it's not a big deal. And I have been pumping a lot, so I have some stuff stored in the freezer. But um, I think that's all I have to update you guys on. I don't know how well you can see him from there. But he's probably going to get fussy. But this is what he looks like now. Say hi, everybody. He still looks a lot like Daddy. You can see his little profiles. Like, just like his dad. And he always sleeps with, like, one hand up. And he still sleeps on his side. Like, if I were to lay him down right now in his crib, he would go to his side. And I told the pediatrician that. And he's like, oh, just put him back on his back. Well, easier said than done, I do. And then he goes straight back to the side. So... That's just how we like sleeping. Ah, and, oh, and he has a lot of dry skin. I don't know if you can see it here. I've been putting some lotion on it, but I guess that's normal, the dry skin. And he squeaks a lot. <laughs> I guess all newborns do. But, like, he squeaks a lot, a lot, so we call him Squeaky. That's his nickname. We can say Squeaky, huh? Because he does that. He squeaks, and he grunts, and he squeaks. But anyway, so that is my update. I will try to upload this as soon as I can. Sorry about the way I look. This is my new mom look. Um, so yeah, that's I guess all we have to update on. And I'll try to update either next week or the week after. Probably will be more likely. Just depending on how much sleep I'm getting and how he's doing. Say bye. Say bye. Oh, big yawn. All right, bye guys. Thanks for watching. We'll see you later.